Strive hard against the disbelievers and the hypocrites and be adamant and stern with them. In the end, their abode shall be hell and it is the worst of all abodes. They swear by Allah that they did not say the thing when in fact they did utter the word of unbelief. Thus, they were guilty of unbelief after they had professed Islam. However, they could not accomplish what they had intended to do. They had no reason to be spiteful except that Allah and His Messenger had enriched them by His bounty. If even now, if even now they repent of their misbehavior, it will be good for their own selves. But if they do not repent, Allah will chastise them with a painful chastisement in this world and in the hereafter, and there will be none on the earth to protect and help them. There are some among them who make who made their covenant with Allah. If He gives us of His bounty, we will disperse charity and lead a righteous life. But when Allah enriched them by His bounty, they grew niggardly and went back on their covenant and paid no heed to it. As a consequence of the breach of the covenant they had made with Allah and the lies they told, He set hypocrisy deep in their hearts and that will follow them till the day when they shall meet Him. Do these people not know that Allah knows fully well even their secrets and their conspiracies? and that Allah knows fully well all that is hidden. He fully knows those stingy rich people who find fault with the monetary sacrifices of these, those believers who make willing and voluntary contributions generously, and scoff at, scoff at those people who find nothing to contribute to the cause of Allah, except what little they contribute, sacrificing their own needs. Allah scoffs at these who scoff, and there is painful punishment in store for them. O Prophet it will be all the same whether you beg forgiveness for such people or not. For Allah will not forgive them even if you beg forgiveness for them 70 times. This is because they have no belief in Allah and His Messenger. And Allah does not show guidance to the wrongdoers. Wa akhir dawana, alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.